Welcome to our FaceCast all about AutoCAD 2013. My name is Marielle Covington. I'm a member of the marketing team here at Autodesk and I'm joined by Rob McGuire, who you may uh, remember. <laughs> Unfortunately, Charlie um, could not join us today, so I'm sitting in in Charlie's place um, and wanted to speak with Rob a little bit about um, his experience here at Autodesk and about AutoCAD 2013. So, Rob, why don't you remind the fans a little bit about your role here at Autodesk as a product manager? Sure. Uh, so, as Mary L said, I'm Rob McGuire. I'm the senior product line manager for AutoCAD. Uh, I've been in and around Autodesk for about 12 years. I've been in testing, I've been in software development, uh, I've been in product management here for about the last four or five years. Um, yeah, I learned uh, AutoCAD back in 2000, uh, 2008, pretty much, so back in our 12 days. I was going to say, what version was that? Yeah, um, so that was a lot of fun, but um, yeah, I was a mechanical engineer before I came here, so, uh, so some of the things I'm going to show you today really resonate well with, uh, with what I'm about to show you. So. Perfect, perfect. Well, good. So, um, fans, we brought Rob here today to show us a little bit of some of his favorite features of AutoCAD 2013, as you mentioned, he built help build this product from the bottom up. Um, so I think you wanted to talk about a couple of features. Yeah, so so a couple things. So we've got uh, sort of a feature set that we call model documentation, which is all about taking 3D models uh, and creating all of the associated documentation. And when you do, it's not static. You know, it has the sort of live link so that when you go back and modify the 3D model, all of the associated documentation updates. Uh, and I also want to show you a little bit about the App Store in case model documentation is not your, your flavor. Um, there's plenty of other applications on top of AutoCAD that are available, uh, many for free, some for free, on uh, directly inside the product. So, perfect. Show a little bit about that. Perfect. Well, um, we're going to go ahead and dive into the demo here and learn a little bit more about model documentation. All right. There we go. So I'm going to launch uh, AutoCAD 2013 here out of the AutoCAD Design Suite. Fantastic. So, so for those of you that don't know, um, AutoCAD is the, pro the hero product in the AutoCAD Design Suite, um, which has a number of other different products here. And what are we looking at here, Rob? Uh, so this is the AutoCAD 2013 welcome screen. So there's uh, anything around, uh, you know, associated work that you already have, things you want to learn about, tutorials, help documentation. Uh, and as I mentioned, the, the Exchange apps that we're going to see a little bit later, uh, some of the featured applications will pop up here. So this is just sort of our standard welcome back. Uh, but I'm going to launch into our uh, model documentation stuff here. Um, I'll first open the, uh, my sheet set. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, is, is show you some model documentation uh, workflows. So we, this was first introduced in AutoCAD 2012 and then subsequently uh, improved in AutoCAD 2013 with more views. So we're going to show you some section views, some detailed views, uh, and other uh, niceties that we've done. So in this file here, uh, this is we're looking at a blank layout. We're going to document this, uh, this model here. Uh, if I can actually So I think our broadcasting software and AutoCAD are, 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 are fighting over my screen each right other. now. But uh, so here's my model. Um, so you can see it uh, from a couple different views. It's an elevator shaft. So you can see the elevators going up and down uh, from a couple different views. I'm just using the, the viewport controls in here. And so what we want to do is actually document this. So when we go in here, I go to my layout tab. And I just want to create some, some base views. So these were available in, uh, in AutoCAD 2012. So you can see from here, I can import both AutoCAD models and Inventor models directly from inside the ribbon. So when I import from model space, I'm going to create a view. Uh, and then I'm going to create a few sort of associated views. So you get sort of the elevation. I can create an isometric and the uh, elevation views. Now you can change the visual styles of any of this, so you can get uh, the sort of you know conceptual visual style or the sort of hidden line visual style. So if you grab one of these guys, you can say edit view, and you can switch between sort of hidden lines, uh, visible lines, you know whatever sort of suits your fancy. Um, 
So a lot of this was, was in 2012, as I mentioned. So the new stuff in 2013, I can switch to section views. So uh, got it on this other layout tab. So here is that same elevator shot. This is a top view. Um, so when I create a section, I can create several different types of sections. So full section view, half section, uh, aligned, that sort of thing. So we're going to create a full section. So I grab the view. I create the uh, horizontal cross section. Um, and I'll zoom back out, pan around, and I've now created this uh, the section view. So you can see that it automatically cut the model and it introduced this little hatching, uh, and you can modify any of this stuff. So when you grab the, the section view, uh, you can. Uh, sorry, that was the hatch. So here I can change the visual style from hidden lines to whatever we wanted. I can change the section identifier, um, you know, different types of sections. All of that's modifiable through the contextual ribbon tab inside the product. The, uh, I can also create more projected views. Um, so if I want to see this section uh, from another perspective, um, Oops, there we go. So I can create a, a you know, orthogonal projection of that. I can create an isometric projection. So there we go. And Sorry, I got one too many of these. I'll delete that. Um, so I can grab these views, uh, move them around like they're any other kind of AutoCAD object. Uh, and as I mentioned, they're live associations. So I can grab the, the section line, and as I move that around, notice that all three of the views will update. And I can even pull it farther down. And if you don't like how any of this is stylized, um, you can actually, there's uh, what we call the, the section view styles manager. So you say, okay, I want to modify this section view style. I've got control over everything. So if I want to change the color of the actual labels, I can change the label itself. I can change how the cutting plane is rendered, what's the line type and the thickness. I can change uh, you know, the label of the view itself, uh, or even the hatch pattern, hatch pattern scale, orientation, all that kind of stuff. So I can do it from sort of the dialog view, or I can actually you know, select some of these things and get the contextual ribbon and change the hatch pattern over here. Um, next. Uh, the, the next kind of view that we can look at is, is detailed views. So in the detailed view, um, you know, I've created sort of a, an existing section here. Um, again, I grab one of these. Wait, so that's one to insert a detailed view. I can create circular, rectangular views. So I'm going to grab a, the parent object here, and uh, if I can select it, then specify the detail and pop that out. Uh, again, you can change all the visual style and any of this stuff. The, uh, you can change the scale, so using the multifunction grip on the actual detail view, you can say, okay, I want it to be a little bit bigger. Um, and then if you want to change where it actually is, you can grab the center point and say, no, I want the detail to be more up here, or no, I want it to be here. Um, and the detail updates automatically. So I can scale this down. Um, and then scale the actual view up uh, so you can get exactly what you want. If you don't like the style, you can, uh, you can tweak that as well. So you say edit view. And so you can get a rectangular view of it. You can get smooth borders. You can get connection lines. And my favorite is the jagged. Uh, <laughs> so when you save that, you, you have a jagged blow up of, uh, of this particular view over here. So, um, and I mentioned all the associativity of all of this stuff that you can modify. So let's let's do that. Um, so let's say I've got my so my dimensions and annotation here. So I'm going to annotate this a little bit more. I'll create a another continuous uh, dimension here, and you'll see that I get this dimension that says that's 12 units high. Um, just take a note of that as we're going to go modify it in a second. I'll create a few more. Dimensions here, so these uh, doorways are you know, 84 centimeter, and it's 84 units high. I don't think it's centimeters. Not exactly <laughs> the scale. Sorry. Uh, grab that. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so then jump back to model space. So again, you can see my, uh, my elevator shaft. I'm going to change the visual style here to conceptual. Zoom in. I will delete one of these doorways. And uh, let's grab the top face here. I'm going to extend that face up a bit. And there we go. So then when I jump back to the, the perspective we had before in that layout, you see a few different things. So the height of that was 12, as if you recall. Now it's up to 46. This is automatically uh, re-updated. So if I switch back to this layout tab, the auto-update feature was turned on. So anytime I modify anything, all these things will update. Um, but you'll also notice that uh, this uh, annotation monitor, when there was a disassociated annotation because I had deleted the object that was being dimensioned, uh, it's not only throws a flag in the viewport, but it throws a bubble notification in case you didn't actually see it. So I can go back here, get a contextual menu, it says, okay, I want to reassociate this. When I do, it says, okay, I want this point, I'm going to put that there, this point, put that there. I want to make sure this lines up. So boom, and there you go. So that, somewhat in a nutshell, is, is model documentation <laughs> with uh, with the section views, the detail views, and the, the annotation monitoring uh, as this stuff gets, gets revised. Fantastic. So Rob, I know that um, you briefly showed at the beginning of this demo that there was, uh, you could pull in inventor files. Yes, you can. And um, I think it's important to know, I think there are some other different types of files that you can pull into AutoCAD and, and do some of this documentation. Yes, you can. Not only can you pull in Autodesk formats, but you can pull in uh, third-party formats as well, including SolidWorks files, CATIA files. Uh, there's various levels of associativity, but you can bring all of that in and do these exact same workflows, which is really nice. Because a lot, of, very few people have homogenous CAD environments, so. Fantastic. That sounds great. So one of the other um, features of AutoCAD 2013 is our Exchange apps, um, which has been very popular, I think, with many of our AutoCAD fans. Um, some of you may have seen our posts about the Hangman app or the SketchUp app. Um, and I wanted to talk to Rob a little bit more about you know, these apps and the power that they really bring to AutoCAD 2013. Yeah, yeah excellent. Um, so, so from directly inside of AutoCAD, uh, you can see the Exchange Apps X in the upper right-hand corner. Um, so our you know, tool tip coming up. So I've already logged in to Autodesk 360 as Rob McGuire. Uh, so here's my login credentials. And this brings up the, the Exchange Apps. Uh, so from here, you can see the, the multitude of apps in all of these different categories. So we've got diagramming, hatches, mapping, a whole bunch of stuff. And you can see the app counts in all of these different areas. In addition to that, there's also the, the best sellers, the most popular stuff. So Hangman is, is one of my personal <laughs> favorites. Uh, but um, yeah, there's a lot of very useful, very uh, you know workflow automation kind of stuff in here. Um, the one I'm going to show you today is actually the SketchUp import tool. So with this tool, uh, AutoCAD 2013 can load SketchUp files. You can even do a little bit of the model documentation that I talked about earlier. So with this, this is a free app from Autodesk. Uh, I can see what the rating and rankings, uh, what other people have to say about this. It's fairly high regarded. Uh, even the one rating with three stars says it's incredible. Um, <laughs> so that good, good positive. may not match the comment, but it's, it's, uh, it's giving me a warm, fuzzy feeling on this one. So, uh, so when I say, okay, it's free, I'm going to accept all the terms and conditions, um, end user license agreement, I don't really want to get email from Autodesk. I get enough email from Autodesk, <laughs> <coughs> so I will, uh, you know, start to download this um, and run. So basically, it's going to download it and it's going to put it in what we call an auto loader directory. So there's a special directory of AutoCAD 2013 that can pick up sort of ARX files, list routines, things like that. Mm -hmm. Anything that's dropped in that folder automatically loads. So you don't have to use app load. Or for those of you who are familiar with AutoCAD customization, is not always as easy as you would like sometimes. Um, but uh, yeah, it's and and I think a, a good point to reiterate is a lot of these apps that we have on the Exchange App Store are free, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, so there's some are for free, some are for fee. Our, our third-party network, we have 3,500 ADN development partners, many of which are, are hosting their um, you know, hosting their applications here. And this popped up some documentation tells me a little bit about the SketchUp import tool. Uh, this is actually, really all it does is modify the, the import dialog inside of AutoCAD and gives you one more format. So 
I'm uh, not going to dig too far into that right now, but this was pretty easy and painless, free extension of AutoCAD. It also helps reduce, you know, at least for the apps from Autodesk, it reduces the size of AutoCAD. Anybody who's installed it knows it takes a lot of time sometimes to install the whole thing. So we're putting more and more things on the, on the app store to make the media a lot smaller. It's faster to download the original, download the trial. Uh, it makes everybody's life a lot easier. So. Fantastic, fantastic. So if you haven't uh, checked out the, the Exchange App Store, I would recommend um, in 2013, as Rob mentioned, you just go up to the upper right-hand corner um, where the X is, and you'll get direct access to the store. Um, you can also access it from, I believe it's apps.exchange.autodesk.com. So if you want to go um, check it out, you can look at all of the different apps. And just another great reason to give AutoCAD 2013 a try. Awesome. Thank you very much for having me, Mary Ellen. Of course, of yeah. course. So uh, AutoCAD Facebook fans, thanks for joining us today live from San Francisco. Don't forget to go download the trial of AutoCAD 2013 from our Facebook page. Just click on over to the trial tab that you see right, right next to the FaceCast tab. And um, we look forward to seeing you again. Um, thanks so much for joining us. All right, thank you.